Welcome to Bonneville Speed Week 2018, another beautiful day here on the Salt Flats in Utah. This is the Southern California Timing Association. There's a quote from a legend around here called Burt Monroe, who came across all the way from New Zealand in 1967 at the age of 70. And all he wanted to do here was just get one good run. That's why I'm here. Races have been coming to Bonneville since the early 1900s when they realised that this fantastic expanse of dried up salt was a great place to go motor racing. Men have been coming to this barren, inhospitable place for the last 70 years, breaking land speed records. Well, I first got into motorbikes uh, when I was 10 years old and I went to uh, my cousin's farm and he wheeled out this fantastic old 250cc trials bike and he said, have a go on this. And I drove around the field, couldn't get out of first gear, but absolutely loved it. So fast forward 25 years, here I am at Bonneville Speedway, hallowed ground. Racing complements my work at Schroders in lots of ways, being well organised, presenting a professional image, not being afraid to take risks. All of these skills are directly transferable from working as a team. I've got Matt Creed, who's a good friend of mine back home in Gloucestershire, who's the number two mechanic, and his, uh, his amazing son, Jake, who's uh, a bit of a computer whiz. And I've got my cousin, Doug, who uh, he and I have clearly been in, uh, involved in racing for uh, most of our years. John Woods is the crew chief who's built the bike. He will work harder than I ever thought was possible to make sure this bike runs. I've got to trust him that he screws it together properly. I've got to trust him that it doesn't go bang and throw me down the road. Andrew, who's one of Schroeder's clients, as part of the team is uh, incredibly flattering, but maybe is a good example of the sort of relationships that Schroeder's fosters with our intermediary clients. Being part of the Woods Jones team is absolutely fabulous. Uh, Bonneville is a very special place where people want everybody else to succeed as well as them. We're off down to course three, which is the three mile course. And by that I mean your bike is timed from the start of mile one to the end of mile three. We've got salt fever. <laughs> We've got salt fever. Next up from the UK, Roland Jones on his 1983 Kawasaki motorcycle, going for that magic 200 miles an hour. Good luck. Doing 180 miles an hour across the sole, having the bike dancing around underneath you, trying to hang on to the handlebars, the most amazing feeling. Last mile, 170, 172, 175, 177 miles an hour. When we achieved our 177 miles per hour, there was a big beaming smile on Roland's face, and I saw a tear in his eye, and then there was one in mine. We came here, we got one good run, which is fantastic. If you consider the last five years have now percolated down into one minute, that is what one good run is. It's been hard. But we do these things not because they're easy, but because they are hard and because they're a challenge. That's what we're here for. 